guys and welcome back to my channel this is your girl raven here and today's video is going to be another reaction video and it is going to be a reaction to top five creepy haunted dolls caught moving on camera so uh we're about to get into this and we're about to see what scary shit be going on because y'all know i experience paranormal stuff on a regular so I gotta put my two cents into this mess but anyways if you are new to this channel go ahead definitely hit that subscribe button turn on those notifications and be sure to follow me on all my social media sites you know you want to follow me so go ahead and follow me you might as well you know so that way you can be up to date with whenever I post so let's go ahead and get right into this video what's up everyone and welcome back to top 5 central today we're looking at the top 5 haunted dolls caught moving on camera now before we begin today's video, I'm super excited to announce that we're hosting another $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. If you want to enter for a chance to win free money, all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment saying anything, so if you want to do it, feel free. Anything. Also, let's <laughs> see if we can smash 5,000 likes on this video, and if we can get that, we'll start posting a few more scary videos since Halloween's kind of coming get up, but with that said, let's get right into this it. Video, okay, guys. Number 5. So this video is already pretty terrifying, but if you know what they're actually saying, it gets even worse. Basically, the girl's explaining that she got this doll for her 15th birthday, but she really doesn't like it. The scary thing is, it looks like the doll hurt her, because as soon as she says it, it slowly twists around and stares at her. I mean, she doesn't notice at first, but the girl behind the camera screams, and then suddenly both of them are that freaking out, creepy. and the kid then just drops the doll. Now, to be honest, I can't blame her for reacting the way she did, but if I knew I had a creepy possessed doll that could understand what I was saying, I'd probably try not to make it angry. So, uh, dropping your face first on the floor probably didn't do this chick any favors. I wish they played the whole video for that. You see that? Hell no! Hell, I know that these dolls can see you and hear you, what you're saying. Number four. Okay, I think we all agree that all dolls are terrifying, but there's just something about baby dolls that puts them on a Is whole other level of creepy. I you mean, see they that look way too movie? realistic to be cute, or they look fake enough to turn into a baby straight out of someone's nightmares. So yeah, with that said, this one has got to be one of the worst because dolls, it's completely whatsoever. naked and its paint is cracked and its arms and legs are super dirty too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not just like, that, like, but its right arm it moves on its own, almost as, as if it's reaching out to grab you. I'm not gonna lie, it's super spooky, but I also think it's kind of the owner's fault because picking up a super old doll from a jumble sale is like horror movie 101. You just don't do it. Exactly. You anyway, don't those guys are definitely like haunted that. for life now, you know, so I'm afraid there's nothing we can do except, well, maybe not make the same mistake, I guess. It's possessed. I would not have that thing in my house. Uh-uh, Annabelle, not today. I'm gonna put some holy water on you, Jesus. Be a fence all around me every day. That is so Number three. creepy. Imagine Most people that, have been like... spooked by a doll in the house as a kid, but that fear usually wears off as an adult, unless you're these guys and have to deal with something scary as this. I mean, these guys were so suspicious of their 100-year-old doll that they set up a camera to watch what it did when they left the house, and when they watched back the footage, they weren't disappointed. Like, it starts out with some stuff that could just be random, like the arms drop a little more to the side, or the doll shifts one way or the other, but pretty soon, it looks straight up possessed. I mean it, like the thing is twitching or moving its arms up and down, almost as if whatever is inside of it is learning to control the doll. So, uh, yeah, with that said, leave a like on the video right now, or this haunted doll is gonna come and get you. I mean, it could be real, so you <laughs> might wanna like play it safe and just video. leave a like. This music though. Mm -mm. Heck no. We got to go. Now I would have threw that out the window so fast. Like, no, I probably end up back in your house. I seen Annabelle. And you'd be like, how does get back on the chair? This music makes it even worse. No, boo. Number two. Honestly, the scariest thing about this video isn't even what's happening, it's the fact that's going on and nobody notices. 
Like this group are just happily filming themselves practicing their cup stacking, but if you watch the shelves at the back of the room, something way less normal is going on. Like everything is cool for a while, but then suddenly you can see one of the dolls sit up, pulling itself into a sitting position like it's rising up out of the grave. Honestly, it gave me a scare when I first watched it, and if we're being real, I think it only gets creepier, because you can see the people in front have no idea what just happened behind them. With all that said, it might be best that way, because seeing a haunted doll come to life right in front of you isn't something you could really forget. Do you see that? That is creepy. This doll was curious. I was like, no, I gotta see what they're doing. This sounds fun. I wanna try. I want to try. Hex, no, bruh. Hex, no. Okay, here's your honorable mention. Now, most of the dolls on this list have been the frilly dresses and baby faces kind, but it turns out they're not the only ones that could go over to the dark side. I mean, looking at this nutcracker, you wouldn't think that there was anything out of the ordinary, but after this guy was told to take it by his aunt, he figured out pretty quickly that something was wrong. Like right from the start, he noticed that whenever he filmed it, his dog would sit and bark at it, almost as if he could see something no one else could. Not just that, yeah, but the nutcracker knew how to turn itself around stuff. and move, like it almost falls off the edge of the table in the video. Anyway, I really don't want to know how this story ends, because I feel like this 400 year old nutcracker could do way more damage than a dolly in a pink dress. I want to know if this person just left the camera recording to see. Oh, this doll is creepy. This nutcracker is creepy. Let me see what it could do. It moved a little bit. Number one. So haunted dolls are scary, and Ouija boards are even scarier, so you would think no one would be stupid enough to put them together. With that said, For these real. guys decided to contact the other side with this terrifying looking teddy bear in the background, and I probably don't need to tell you that it didn't go that well. Basically, the more they played, Duh. the more the bear woke up. Like, I'm not even joking, it was twitching and looking around from the top of the shelf. Even creepier, when one of the guys notices and looks around, it freezes in place straight away. So yeah, obviously the dude is creeped out and wants to bail, even after his friends have checked to see if the bear is safe, but as soon as they start playing again, it starts rocking back and forth. It's, well, uh, super scary, especially since they've already decided their friend was making it up, so who knows what happened to them after they left the room. Okay, I wouldn't really jump out the window, but like hell no. Like my mama told me don't ever play with the Ouija boy because I feel like when you go play with that stuff and you start looking for stuff, then that's when you're gonna find stuff. Like I'm telling you, that's how it works. Like you're gonna see stuff and that mess, uh-uh. Like I honestly always thought that like these dolls are like haunted because there was little things that I noticed as a child about some of the dolls. Like my sisters. Kira and Kaisha, they both had these dolls and they both were black and one of them wore like a yellow onesie and the other one wore a blue onesie. And so there was something about these dolls that was creepy and Kira and Kaisha would never play with these dolls. They didn't like these dolls. My mom's like, oh, nothing's wrong with these dolls. And she put it in her room and she had it in her room like as a decoration with all her like little um, bears and stuffed animals and stuff like that. And then out of nowhere, it was just like, oh, take these dolls downstairs in the basement. And those dolls stay in the basement or whatever because nobody felt comfortable with them because it always looked like those dolls was watching you. And then 
like one of the eyes out of the doll popped out and it was like how could that happen because nobody like played with those dolls and you know how like some people like to use dolls as like decorations and that's what those dolls were but Kiara and Kaisha got those dolls because they were they're Irish twins and those dolls are technically twins I don't know but like it was just kind of creepy about those and then even sometimes with like bears and stuff like that I always feel like I'm being watched like I don't know like they're doing stuff like let me turn this around because this is like oh, so creepy I've never really trusted dolls my Susie doll that I had I didn't trust that doll because I felt like she was always looking at me like she was watching me and I, it was just me being paranoid and stuff, but I literally had these uh, phobias of these dolls actually doing stuff or, you know, moving me, moving or watching me as I slept. So I never liked really care for dolls like that because of that. Like I always thought they were kind of creepy. And especially, I don't know if you guys seen that one video with the girl, she had that Barbie doll and the doll went like, Oh, hags, nah, because if I seen that, I'm telling you, I am out. I am done. Nah, we about to have a, a, like, a prayer at my house. You know what? I'm not even living in that house anymore. I'm going to get me a new house. I'm going to bless that house and everything because I know y'all tea. But anyways, that is a, it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Tell me your thoughts and comments. Do you actually believe this stuff is really happening? Do you think bells are scary? creatures and because i'm not getting no dolls for my kids in the future uh -uh. satan i rebuke you in the name of jesus so let me know in the comments below be sure to get this video to 50 likes be sure to share and follow me on my social media sites and let me know in the comment section what else you guys want me to react to and until then adios